Hello and welcome back to Pharma Guideline. Today, we are exploring a very powerful analytical tool, FTIR spectroscopy, that plays an important role in the pharmaceutical and chemical industries. Whether you are a student preparing for exams or a professional in the lab, understanding FTIR is crucial for identifying and analyzing compounds accurately. So let's break it down step by step. First of all, let us know about FTIR. FTIR stands for Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy. It is a technique used to obtain the infrared spectrum of absorption or emission of a solid, liquid, or gas sample. Unlike traditional IR spectroscopy, which scans one wavelength at a time, FTIR captures all wavelengths simultaneously and uses mathematical transformations to interpret the data. It is like taking a snapshot of how a molecule responds to infrared radiation. Before understanding the principle, let us know the components of an FTIR spectrometer. First one is infrared light source. The IR source like a glober, made up of silicon carbide, emits a broad range of infrared light. Second component is interferometer, also known as Michelson interferometer. The interferometer modulates the light by splitting and recombining beams to create an interference pattern. Sample Holder This holds the sample in solid, liquid or gas form. Common sampling accessories include ATR, that is attenuated total reflectance, transmission cells and gas cells. Next component is the detector. It converts the IR beam into an electrical signal. Common detectors include deuterated triglycine sulfate and mercury cadmium telluride. Last one is the computer, that is Fourier transform processor. Finally, a computer performs Fourier transform to convert this raw data, the interferogram into a usable IR spectrum. That's where FTIR gets its name. Now let's understand the principle in more depth. The core principle of FTIR is based on how molecules absorb infrared light. Here is the idea. Molecules are constantly vibrating, stretching, bending, twisting. Each bond in a molecule has a unique vibration frequency. When infrared radiation passes through a sample, specific frequencies of light are absorbed by the molecules, causing them to vibrate at higher energy levels. This absorption creates a unique IR spectrum, like a fingerprint, that can be used to identify functional groups and molecular structures. But how does FTIR collect this information? This brings us to the heart of FTIR, the interferometer. Let us understand working of FTIR. Let's break the entire process into six clear steps. Step 1. IR Radiation Emission the IR source emits a broad range of infrared light that contains all the wavelengths needed for molecular analysis. Step 2. Interferometer modulation. The light enters the Michelson interferometer, where it is split into two beams. One beam reflects off a stationary mirror and the other off a moving mirror. These beams interfere with each other when recombined. Step 3. Interaction with sample. The modulated IR beam then passes through, or reflects off, the sample. Molecules in the sample absorb IR energy at specific frequencies. Step 4. Detection. The remaining light, containing both absorbed and transmitted frequencies, reaches the detector. Step 5. Signal Collection Interferogram. The detector records a complex signal called an interferogram, which contains encoded information about all IR frequencies. Step 6. Fourier Transform The computer performs a mathematical transformation, FFT, that is fast Fourier transform, to convert the time domain interferogram into a frequency domain IR spectrum. This final spectrum shows peaks where the molecule absorbed energy, identifying the presence of specific functional groups and molecular structures. Reading the FTIR spectrum The FTIR spectrum is a plot of transmittance versus wave number. Each peak represents a specific molecular vibration. 
in the graph broad peak around 3200 to 3600 is an O and H stretch, think alcohols or water. Shark peak near 1700 is likely a C and O stretch, typical of ketones or esters. Peaks near 1500 to 1600 could be aromatic C and C stretches. Interpreting these peaks helps in identifying unknown compounds, checking functional groups, or confirming purity. Applications of FTIR FTIR is widely used in various fields. Some applications include In the pharmaceutical industry, FTIR is used to identify raw materials and final products. In the polymer industry, it is used in characterizing plastic compositions. In environmental science, FTIR is used for detecting air pollutants. In the food industry, it is used for monitoring spoilage and contamination. Its non-destructive nature and rapid analysis make it a favorite in analytical labs. Advantages of FTIR FTIR is widely used in various industries because of its high sensitivity and accuracy. Rapid data collection It requires a very small sample size. Minimal or no sample preparation It can analyze solids, liquids and gases. These benefits make FTIR one of the most versatile tools in spectroscopy. Limitations of FTIR are it can not detect symmetrical nonpolar bonds like O2N to Cl2. Overlapping peaks can cause interpretation issues. Water and CO2 in air may interfere with readings. Common FAQs about FTIR Question 1 is, can FTIR be used for quantitative analysis? Yes. With calibration curves, FTIR can quantify components. Question 2 how is FTIR different from regular IR? FTIR collects all data at once using an interferometer, making it faster and more sensitive. Question 3. What is ATR in FTIR? ATR, that is attenuated total reflectance, allows direct sample measurement without preparation. Question 4. Is FTIR suitable for all types of samples? Yes. It works with solids, liquids, and gases, but sample compatibility depends on the accessory used. And that's a complete guide to the principle and working of FTIR spectroscopy. We covered what FTIR is, how it works, the role of Fourier transform, and how to interpret its output. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get regular updates. Join channel membership to access exclusive content like courses and member-specific videos.